Hello, my name is Gillian Donaldson Selby and I'm a peatland scientist at the James Hutton Institute. We're in a peatland that has been extensively eroded and is currently undergoing restoration. As part of that restoration process, we are monitoring the hydrology of restored, unrestored and near natural sections. So what has peat got to do with water? Well, 70% of UK drinking water is derived from peat-dominated upland catchments. Eroded peatlands, such as this one, contribute substantial amounts of particulates, which have to be treated at cost by the water companies. Functioning healthy peatlands provide high-quality drinking water. They intercept nutrients and elements such as nitrogen, sulphur and heavy metals. Healthy peatlands intercept and help to retain rainwater, reducing the possibilities of flooding. High water tables are essential to sustaining the peat. If the water is allowed to drain away rapidly, as it does in eroded peatlands, the peat will eventually oxidize and release huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. What are we monitoring in this peatland? Data generated by our network of pizometers, dip wells, crest stage tubes and soil moisture probes allow us to evaluate whether the restoration process is having an effect on the groundwater. We also have weirs set up to monitor runoff, as well as sediment collectors monitoring the amount of peat sediment in the runoff. Retaining water in peatlands is essential to their survival and the survival of peatlands is essential to our fight against climate change.